Okay, I'm still with the Evilo Omni Wheel, and I just did a video showing the install on this beach cruiser. And uh, there's some things I was able to work through and some things I wasn't, but I did get it going enough for a test ride. I think we'll find, I've already ridden it some, that uh, this test ride will be about the same as when I had it on the Diamondback. Uh, uh, it, we ex expected a little more power and vitality. Let's see. So here's the, the on button. So the little red light will come on a second. That's the charge port. So once the red light's on, then we hold the power button comes on and this does show our wireless signal between this and the wheel. Now it does have a wire that goes down to the sensor on the bottom bracket and I didn't really wire this up the way I would have normally. I could tell right off the bat it wasn't going to be a permanent installation. Uh, we also show our battery power for the, uh, the lithium battery inside the display and for the Omni wheel we get speed, uh, a few other things going on here. All right well, let's take for a little test ride and uh, like I say it just doesn't have the speed and power that I'm expecting or the uh, uh, Evilo advertises. And so there's something going on. Oh, I got to push it into mode one. So that'll get us our lowest sensitivity. Two, you can pick, fill, pick up some. And three. Okay, so we're moving. You can hear the wheel working. And I'm on a slight downgrade, pedaling with it. And we're doing 13. So now I'm, now I'm just pedaling, uh, not helping the bike, letting the motor do all the work. 12.6 it says. So up ahead is a little uh, grade, so we'll try that out. So we're doing right about 11. Let me help the bike a little. Let me pedal a little harder. And even still, it's kind of resisting my better efforts. So I quit pedaling, so the motor quit, cut off. Pedaling cuts back on. So that's kind of nice. Uh, it comes on automatically, senses your pedaling. Okay, let's go back up the hill. Now, last time I did this on Diamondback, I had to help it quite a bit, and I think we're going to see the same thing here. So we're going up the hill. We're down to nine mile an hour, and I'm pedaling, but it's helping. So we're doing 11 now as a grade up. We're still on a little bit of a grade. And it says we're doing about 12. So I, I, I'm expecting a little more power. I get a feeling Evilo is going to take this one back, test it out, and send me a fresh one. And we'll see what they can do about working through all these mounting issues uh, with the bottom bracket sensor and with the wheel. Like I said, I wouldn't go very far with this when it's not really hooked on all that well. I may try to turn that one magnet around to see if I can get a little power. The video I just shot, uh, I told you how one of the sensor magnets is not in the same polarity as the rest. In fact, one had actually fallen out before, and that's what caused the squeaking. So there's the Avilo Omni Wheel. I'm not getting quite what they say they sh I should be getting, and I think they still got to work on the mounting a little bit, but I think these are a great idea. All-in-one e-wheels. You know, I've uh, tested a couple different ones. Uh, one I had for quite a while, and uh, I really like Evilo, and I think they're going to work everything out, make this just right, but at the moment, I'm not taking a long ride on this bike. All right, well, thanks for watching the Velo Omni Wheel.